The Nigerians in the Diaspora Commission are assured that the federal government will not abandon Nigerians recently returned from South Africa. The chairperson of the commission, Abike Dabiri Rewa, said the federal government is doing all it can to ensure those who lost properties in the violence gets compensation from the South African government. She, however, said the federal government has already put plans in place to ensure the returnees can continue their businesses in Nigeria. I expect the state government governors to take responsibility for their citizens that have returned. Now, I'm going to stress one thing. Those who returned are not criminals. In fact, they are very hardworking Nigerians, very hardworking, and they've lost everything they ever worked for in South Africa. So their only crime is being black and being Nigerian. So let's stress that none of them are, they are very hardworking Nigerians. I mean, we had fathers separated from the children. We had a mother, there's a widow with four children who just had to come back home. And for that widow with four children, uh, I can't tell you, but they already offers for scholarship for her children. Now, when they returned, everybody got a SIM card and um, airtime that will last about two months and some money for transportation. And back of industries, I speak with you now, has their contact, so they'll be calling them to come for the back of industry soft loans, so, so that they, those are the immediate plans for them. Then as we as they settle in, we're going to profile them and do a needs assessment. Because somebody might you know, want to trade and you want to say go and do hairdressing. So it's better to do a needs assessment. We'll be appealing to the various state governors to ensure proper reintegration and uh, welcome for these returnees from South Africa. As the next batch comes in, we'll also profile them and do the same thing. And back of the is waiting for all of them to come and take up the assistance the bank is offering.